What you guys, do you need a paid antivirus or will Windows Defender do in 2025? I get quite a few questions about Windows Defender and is it good enough to protect your computer? The simple answer to that is yes. For most users, Windows Defender is going to be good enough and sufficient enough to protect you uh, from malware and viruses. It's free, it's built into Windows and it's the perfect solution for most people. No additional installation of software or licensing fees is needed. It does have real-time protection and it monitors all your files and activity in real time to detect and block threats uh, from entering your computer. It's also going to get regular updates from Microsoft, automatically receiving updates from Microsoft servers to make sure it stays current with all the latest threat definitions which are out there in the wild. So you do get good protection from Windows Defender. It has consistently performed well uh, due to independent testing by major AV companies that test uh, the actual software with loads and loads of new threats, and it's come up really good in the results. Now, there's no need for me to test it and show you uh, samples that I may have because some of these samples might be old and it's not going to give you a true reflection of what Windows Defender can do. These antivirus testing companies will do extensive testing with all the latest samples out there in the wild and test it against all of the latest antivirus software out there and it will give you a percentage of detection rate and how it protected your computer. Another big concern for a lot of people is the system resources that antivirus programs use. This doesn't really impact the system that much uh, compared to, say, other antivirus programs out there. And they can literally hog all of your system resources. And that's one of the big problems with a lot of people using, uh, you know, third party antivirus software. Now, for me, uh, where Windows Defender doesn't deliver, it's in the feature department. So, for instance, if you download something like Avast, these free and paid antivirus programs will generally offer you loads of extra features. And some of these you don't actually need. But if you do need them, then obviously going down the paid antivirus route will be for you. You're going to be getting offers of a VPN service identity theft protection, system performance optimization tools, dark web monitoring, and uh, firewall, which is a much more sophisticated firewall and much more sophisticated protection. So is it worth paying for an antivirus? Well, like I said, it's going to come down to what you actually need an antivirus for. If you want all of those extra things, like a vast cleanup premium and a a vast secure line VPN and all this sort of stuff. And if you're going to need any of this sort of stuff, like stop webcam spying and things like that, then by all means, you're going to have to pay a premium for a piece of antivirus software. I would say you don't need it because a lot of this stuff is just added bloat. And I'm going to show you exactly what that's like when you install the free version of, say, a vast. Now, I've heard people talking about a vast before in the comment section and even on Discord. Now, Avast antivirus software use quite aggressive uh, advertising to make you feel fearful to make you purchase the paid version. So we're just installing the free version here. I'll speed this up so you can actually see. Now, as soon as we click continue, protect your PC with the Avast premium security. Straight away, you're getting nagged to upgrade and it gives you a bunch of ticks with what you don't get and you get ticks of what you are going to get. Next, you get even more uh, nag boxes. And this is where the fear mongering or scaremongering comes in to try and make you upgrade. You can see right here, your connection is safe, but it's not private. Without a VPN, your connection is not encrypted. And so anyone can track your online activities. Stay protected even on public networks. Enhance your security and privacy. And it says browse truly anonymous. Uh, secure line VPN protects your identity and prevents you from online activities from being tracked. And I see a lot of VPN companies throwing this around saying you're truly anonymous. You're not online by using a VPN. This is the big argument I've had with many people. So if we say no thanks here or resolve, it's going to take you to the paid page to make you pay for it. So let's click on one of these and I'll show you exactly what happens. When you click no thanks, you get try secure line VPN for free. For 60 days now you're getting another neck box 
trying to convince you that it's recommended to start your free trial now and it's going to cost you zero pounds to check it out for 60 days. Now, where they get you here is when you pay for it, you will get it for free for 60 days. But if you don't cancel in time, you're going to end up getting the full year's subscription. And this is what they do. So, for instance, this is going to take you to a paid page where you're going to put your details in. Of course, it's not going to cost you nothing, but you will be reminded seven days before it ends for you to cancel. Otherwise, they will take money out of your account. So now we see the notifications tab right here and it says here is a welcome gift so let's unwrap the gift oh it's a claim for your welcome gift of 65 percent off and we can upgrade to guess what the premium service again it's constant nagging and this is what you're going to get with free antivirus software nowadays it's trying to get you to pay for the software and you can see right here it's broken it down to one year subscription two-year subscription, which is recommended, they say, and then you've got the three-year subscription. So again, if you want to close this out, not ready to pay, try it free for 60 days. Now we've got another nag box. And people say Microsoft are bad, but you're getting proper advertisement, aggressive advertisement campaigns from companies like this trying to force you to upgrade to the premium version, as you can see here. And I've just installed a free piece of software to protect the computer and now I'm getting bombarded by all of this to try and pay for it. Every time you go to this screen, it takes you to the paid screen and it wants you to constantly pay for their software. And you're going to get this constantly when using. So here we have another one. Uh, we have found 10 risks uh, to your online security. Again, a little bit of fear mongering there. Maybe you're thinking, oh, I'm at risk. Let's resolve this issue. And you click on the resolve button and guess what happens? It's going to take you for checking issues. It's going to do some things on here. And then you're going to get some more stuff coming up. Your sensitive documents are unprotected. Your private documents, taxes, payroll, uh, plane tickets, etc. can be vulnerable to spyware. Your online banking transactions might be not secure. And again, now they're going down the route of you can get this for as little as £1.92 a month. And it's critical that you upgrade. This is what the fear mongering or, you know, scaremongering is to make you pay for the premium version. And these are 10 advanced security issues that we're facing with our computer when we're not really at risk. We're not having any issues whatsoever. It's just a, a very aggressive, um, you know, ad campaign that they're trying to get you to pay for their software. So next if you click the resolve button, it's going to, guess what, take you straight to that page. And it's the fear of your deleted files could still be stolen and all this stuff. So you click resolve and guess what? Straight back to this page here. And you're constantly closing this off. And then once we close this off now, we've got one more notification up there and you're going to get it. It will go to here and it's going to start you know, going down this route of trying to make you pay for the software. This is what you're going to get into with free antivirus software if you download and install it. It's the constant nagging of you to upgrade to their premium version. You're going to get little flash up boxes like these, which try to goad you into paying for the premium software. And a lot of this stuff will be locked off, like bank mode, uh, email guardian, remote access shield, real site and also sandbox and things like these if these features are useful to you and you need them then you're going to have to pay this is how it works but most people will get by on windows defender and they won't need to pay for any software do i pay for premium software i use eset and it's a premium piece of software but that's because i prefer the firewall and the extra security settings in that software there is nowhere near the amount of bloat that you're getting inside Avast. And again, uh, I'm pretty sure that if you've watched any sort of antivirus channels, you'll see that uh, ESET is pretty clean. There's not a lot of stuff like this. All this cleanup premium and driver updaters, you don't need all of this stuff. It's just people get sucked in and they do believe that there's another box popping up there so you're going to get these nag boxes. Now, if we look at AV test right here, you'll see that the software that we're talking about, Windows Defender, done very well. 
it performed very well. And here's another security company that has rated Windows Defender pretty high. So there's no need for me to do any of these tests because they've done them all for you. Again, Windows Defender free antivirus program is another pretty decent antivirus program. It is free and you will see the padlocks on a safe pay and vulnerability scan and things like that because it's not paid software. It's free and you do need to sign into account to use it. But like I said before, it's nowhere near as aggressive as uh, Avast when it comes to upselling their licenses for the upgrade version. But again, it just depends on what you need and what you want. If you want to completely ditch uh, Windows Defender because you don't trust it, then by all means, you're going to need to get another piece of software. With the free Bitdefender antivirus, you don't get a firewall. You don't get email anti-spam. You don't get a ransomware remediation where it reverts back all of your data if you get hit with ransomware. Uh, you know, things like that. You're not going to get any of this stuff like parental control, optimization, one-click optimization, all this bloat you don't need anyway. But again... There is plenty of antivirus programs out there which don't offer a lot of this bloat and you just get what you need. I think ESET offers that in my personal opinion and that's why I use it on my PC because I prefer the security features and also the actual uh, firewall there. I don't pay for the uh, VPN and stuff like that. I don't need any of that stuff. But if you want to see a video on ESET, let me know in the comments section down below. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I uh, just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. So if you're asking the question, is Windows Defender good enough? The answer is yes, it is for most people. Catch you in the next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server. Bye for now.